there everyone uh, welcome back to evocus yes after a long long time but uh, from now onwards we'll try to be consistent in posting the videos so uh, in this video like we are going to discuss uh, regarding one cool feature in javascript some of you might already be familiar with this but in case like some of you are not familiar with this this is for you guys so recently like they have uh, launched couple of new features which are pretty cool so we are going to discuss uh, about one of them so if you visit this link like tc39 proposal so here you can see all the features which are coming in the javascript and what new is coming so you can keep track of those features here so if you scroll a little bit you can see that there is one cool feature which is top level await it's been a while since it's in the market so if you click uh, you can like read the documentation here but I'm going to give you a quick demo like how it works so for demo purposes I have like created one demo folder so if I cd into this await demo it has nothing in it so let's like npm in it so it's a default package.json file and like if you see this folder in the editor it will like look like this so like let's create one file which is index.js now to enable this feature like uh, what you'll have to do it and go into the package.json and in the package.json just type uh, modules because this feature is only available for ES modules another way of like doing this thing is like if you don't want to change your package.json just remove this and uh, rename this file to index.mjs uh, so this is the way like you can also do it uh, so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to like hit an API and fetch some results from there so we are going to use this uh, random users API which will just return a random user so for this like I'm going to like quickly install one library which is node fetch so no, using node fetch we can make external API requests using uh, node.js uh, like fetch is uh, there in but it's for web browsers only so we'll use node fetch for it so uh, what we will do is we'll just import uh, fetch from node fetch like there are a couple of uh, ways of doing the things like we will see a couple of ways like uh, earlier in the days what we used to uh, do is like uh, we used to create a function and then like invoke that function immediately when the file runs so this looks uh, something like this uh, yeah so you just create an async function and just simply uh, run that function here the main part was uh, like you cannot use the await without async so that was the main catch here so in case like you want to use await you have to use an async function another approach of doing the same uh, thing was like something like that and like sorry uh, you can like create these immediate invoking functions i'm not sure like what they are called like uh, immediate invoking function expression something like that so what you can do is pass a function expression here and copy this paste this here and obviously use async and just comment out and to uh, run this you just um, use to uh, run node index.mjs and it will give you all these details first first last and the title so uh, you can like go through a documentation how this random api works but it's a demo so i'm not going deep into this like this is a json response so you can decode it now uh, the new way of doing the thing is like you can use await without using an async so if i just copy this 
and comment it out see uh, you can use this as well so there is no async you can directly use await on the top level of a file so if you will run node.index.mjs it will return the same response so I guess uh, it's pretty cool feature to have uh, like there are a couple of ways doing the things this is also correct this is also correct like different people have their different uh, style of writing the code and it's perfectly fine so yeah uh, that's it in this video i hope you like this feature and uh, yeah please do consider subscribing because we assure you like we will be consistent from now onwards and posting the videos so yeah bye bye